I really hope the floor up there is stable. Otherwise, uh, this is gonna be bad. Now this is when it gets uh, a little scary. <laughs> Do you smell that? It smells like uh, grass, the outdoors, chemicals, maybe a little bit of a fart from the tacos I ate. It smells like new unspeakable merch. Nah, I don't think that's it. That's not what I smell. I smell Legos in a lot of them. Ladies and gentlemen, today is Lego day. It has been highly requested that today I build a three-story Lego house. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, I said that right. Three, 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 three-story Lego house. Let's do it. We got all the Legos here. We got some wood for the flooring. We got some more wood over there. We got a tripod. We got a ladder. And we got an unspeakable. And I got a pool pump that doesn't know what it's doing. Oh my gosh, whoa, chill, bro. Out here in the uh, unspeakable jungle. We got a wild species of a uh, pool pump right over there. It's really active up, affecting my life, affecting my videos. It's been doing this for days. Look at this, this is ridiculous. This is not a water park. This is not a, a it's getting my Legos wet now. I'm gonna attempt to go in here, dismantle this beast and um, take them under. Yeah! Yeah! Let's build a three-story Lego house. Step number one to building my three-story Lego house is, well, <laughs> step number one. Step number one is step number one. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. All right, well, let's start with step number two. Step number two is to build, as simple as that. And step number three is, uh, well, I, I spelt step number two wrong. Uh, let me go back here. Okay, now step number three is to enjoy the life of a king, because I'm going to be a king at the top of this three-story Lego house. All right, well, we got our steps down. Now, how are we gonna do this? The first story is going to consist of a door, and then between the stories we are going to have floors so we'll lay down a giant piece of wood the second story is going to have a window and the third story is going to be smaller but it is going to have an open balcony and then i'll put a giant set of stairs or a ladder on the side so you can climb up to each floor <laughs> Oh, I'm excited. Let's do this. Time to get this party started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Something tells me you guys haven't left a like on this video yet. And that's just a little bit of a problem. You want to know why not leaving a like on Unspeakable's video is a little bit of a problem? Because when you guys don't leave likes, things go wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The wild pool pump is acting up again, spraying water across my backyard. And it's probably because you guys haven't left a like on the video. Mm -hmm. I've been defeated by the pool pump. Ah. Whoa, well, some of you guys left a like on today's video. All right, you know, after all this rambling, I think I'm ready to build the first story of the Lego house. Whoa, 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 hold on. I gotta stretch real quick. I'm just kidding, let's do this. First story of the Lego house is complete, however, we got some bad news. Of course, we got some bad news. First story here is looking good. However, if you go around here, there's a giant gap. Ah, great. So I did my measurements wrong, and there's a giant gap here. There, there, doesn't, there doesn't need to be a giant. There doesn't, that's not supposed to happen. Well, that means that me, yeah, me. Unspeakable is gonna have to tear this thing down and build it again. Uh, what? Here's the thing. I'm on a time crunch right now. I have two other stories to build. And frankly, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna fix this really quickly. Three, two, one. Oh, just like that. My nose is running according to my calculations. This looks pretty good. Time to move on to the second story. Oh! <laughs> wow. Before we start putting Legos on the second story, we're gonna lay down all this wood. So the roof of the first story, or the, the floor of the second story, will actually have a, a floor instead of the... Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and line this bad boy up. Uh, it's very heavy. Very heavy. Okay. A one, a three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, seven. Oh. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When we put Legos on the side of this thing, that won't happen. We got wood floors. The only thing we need next is uh, some nice stainless steel appliances, which will probably not happen, but we can, we can, we can wish. All right, let's put the second story out of Legos. I just want to let you guys know that the uh, second story here is complete. And well, you know, it honestly is uh, pretty cozy in here. It works. But now I think it's time to get on the top story. Uh, I really hope the floor up there is stable. Otherwise, uh, this is going to be bad. On to the third story we go. I have never stepped foot on the third story. I don't even know if it will hold me. Oh my gosh. Okay. No, flipping way. Yo, this is sick. You've got to be kidding me. All right, this is awesome. <laughs> 
I'm the king of the world. The camera probably can't even see me, or can it? I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the good thing is it holds me for now. Now we gotta put a bunch of Legos on top. Now we're not gonna do the whole entire third story. We're gonna do about half of it because, well, one, I, I don't have enough Legos. And two, I want the other side to be like an open balcony. I think that'll be pretty cool. So I got the three final pieces to the puzzle. Just follow me. Oh my gosh, they're really heavy. This is some really solid wood. So this is gonna go on the third story and it's gonna be the roof for the third story. So let's do it. Okay, this thing is huge. Like this is me standing next to it. Yeah. All right, all we gotta do is lay this down on top and then we will be done. Okay, there we go. Oh no, part of our window is breaking. Not acceptable or unacceptable, same difference. There we go, and we got one more piece of wood. Oh my gosh, it's done. It is done, it is done, it is done, it is done. That's it. <sighs> It's done, the third story is complete. It has a roof on it. We have a balcony up there. This is crazy. Okay, Unspeakable has to see this. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Do you see that? Do you see that? I, I do see that. Go check it out. How do you like it in there? Very cozy, very cozy. It looks nice. Oh my gosh, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> but seriously though, this is crazy. If you guys haven't left a like on this video yet, what 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 are you doing? I'm in an unspeakable costume in a three-story Lego house and you still haven't liked the video? Do you hate me that much? Ah. I think the third story is a little bit too big. A little bit of a squeeze. Put that right. Good as new. What I miss? A lot. Well, <laughs> it's sunny. The three story Lego house is done. Most of you guys have hit the like button and subscribed. But something that you haven't done yet these new Golden Unspeakable shirts. If you guys want to check some of these out, definitely be sure to do so. These just dropped the other day and <laughs> they're selling like burnt pancakes. Wait, no, no, they're not. They're selling well. Burnt pancakes wouldn't sell. They're selling like leaves falling off trees and fall. N never mind, just come here. Link in the description though. But this thing is massive. So me standing in front of it, I probably shouldn't push on it. <laughs> it might fall down and collapse. I think I'm gonna leave this here for a little bit. I need you guys to let me know what should I do in this three-story Lego house? Cause right now it's completely empty. Should I put a gaming setup in it? Should I make the top story a lemonade stand? Or should I do some type of challenge in it? Just let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. First story is pretty roomy here. Come inside. Come in, come in. <laughs> it is roomy, it's it's comfy. The ceiling isn't the pre prettiest, but I think we could definitely hang up some lights or something. We could also put Legos like up here too. Block out more of the natural sunlight. I think we should do that as well. You can kind of peek over the edge here and look outside at your enemies, the bushes. So we're gonna crawl out and we're gonna go to the second. Ah! <laughs> Kiko's uh, dying. <laughs> so this is the second story. Uh, I had to put this beam right here in the middle because um, this thing was completely caving in when I got on top and it was honestly kind of scary. So uh, getting into the second story is a little bit of a squeeze. Literally a, a squeeze. If you could just push my feet. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're you're on your own. Okay, okay. All right, well now I'm in the second story. Now, if there's no one on the third story, I can take out this pillar and you'll be good. But if there's someone on the third story, you take out this pillar, I think the whole thing might come crashing down. The second story has just as much room as the first. As you can see, I'm sitting right now. I can't really sit completely straight up, but you know, if I slouch down a little bit, like it's comfy. In here you can fit like two to three people in here without a problem and this is only the second story let's go to the third story now getting out of the second story again a little bit of trouble but it's not too bad on to the third story now this is when it gets uh, a little scary uh, we have this wood here and it holds pretty well but it is it is wobbly so I think it could use some more support but it holds like you know, I'm up here. It hasn't fallen yet, so I mean, we're good. We have this part over here. It's pretty cozy. This will probably fit about one person, two if you if you really want to squeeze in, but there is a window. And then this space right here, there's a big open balcony where you can just chill and enjoy the view of the pool and maybe dive in the hot tub. It's right there. It's really dirty and disgusting and- We gotta get new pool, guys. This is so sick. 
I don't think I can build a four-story Lego house simply because I don't have enough Legos. That's how many Legos I have left. In that box right there, there's probably about 30, 30 Legos left. So this Lego house took about 12 hundred Legos, maybe a little bit more than that. This is so cool. You see that? It's the wild pool pump. He's trying to attack my Lego fort. Oh, he backed off. Who's the bigger man now? I can unplug you and you'll never work again, but you can't unplug me. But what I can plug is this new merchandise. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Keiko's going to go inside and uh, poop out all the tacos she just ate. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, run. Yep, okay. And she's gone. Well, guys, three-story Lego house. Your boy Unspeakable did it and pulled it off. This was crazy. Definitely took a lot of time setting up this video, getting all the wood, uh, getting all the Legos outside. Carrying all those boxes of Legos downstairs was an interesting challenge. I may have dropped a couple on my foot. Needless to say, this was such a fun video to film. Like I said, I am going to be leaving this Lego house here for a little bit. That means I want to film a second video with it. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below, what should I do inside this Lego house? There's so many things I can do. I could do a 24 hour challenge. I could put something in the three floors. So like the top floor could be a lemonade stand. The second floor could be like a merch shop. Uh, the bottom story could be like a movie room or something. Or let me know down in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear your ideas of what I should do with this three story Lego Ford because it's not empty inside and boring. I mean, it's cool, but we need something to give it some life. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog. And seriously, these brand new shirts. Oh, oh, I don't know about you guys, but they're definitely my favorite unspeakable shirts that we've ever launched. And they just released and <laughs> <laughs> We're almost sold out. If you want one, I'll have a link at the top of the description over to www.unspeakable.co, which is my merchandise website, where you can get this beautiful shirt. I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog. Oh, and also, I just want to say, um, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just going to leave it here at that. <laughs>